Hi everyone, Apple recently had an event on March 25th, 2019. This event was made by Apple to showcase a subscription-based services and products. Now, Apple released a bunch of services with a lot of big personalities to introduce them. I will go through them quite briefly because there are not that many services and the details are quite sketchy at the moment. Apple News has been a model of news delivered to us Apple users by Apple. This kind of model has been quite successful. Magazines, news articles and publishers have all taken to this form to showcase how they can deliver news through Apple. Apple released a new kind of service called Apple News Plus. Apple News Plus is a type of service that will feature magazines on its platform. This kind of feature will have news magazines that will feature their own content on the Apple News platform. The pricing of this is $9.99 a month. This will include family sharing at no extra cost. So that means a family of six can pay $9.99 to access the same rich content. This will showcase an in-depth experience into the magazine. Say for example, you have a National Geographic magazine which Apple showcased at the event. When you open the magazine, it will have a cover that will animate. There will also be nice blobs beneath the magazine to highlight certain portions of it that the users would like to just quickly read through. Apple has also emphasized that you can also view magazines that you would like and Apple will also have certain magazines to show you that you will not otherwise think of looking at. Apple also touts privacy. This means that the publishers or the magazines that are sending you these articles will not be able to track you. This is really good so that you are not caught up in the cycle of advertising. Some of the well-known magazines would include the Wall Street Journals and the Los Angeles Times. There are many other magazines like the Vanity Fair that are also coming. So be sure to look that out. So let's now move on to the Apple Card. Unlike traditional applications, you can take your iPhone or iPad or any iOS device, sign up to get Apple Card using the wallet app and there you go. Apple Card is right there on your device. Once you get the Apple Card, you can see any payments your balance sheet or any outstanding payments that are due. This app will also tag the locations that you have paid for. For example, if you went to Walmart or the Target, you normally will get a statement at the end of the month or at the end of a certain period where you will see certain codes on your statement. This can be a lot confusing for credit card owners because you may not always understand where you have gone and where you have made a particular purchase. So Apple uses artificial intelligence to automatically understand what those codes mean and puts it to you in a very user-friendly way so that you can understand from where you have purchased it. One great aspect of the Apple Card is that it does not share the security information of your card with the merchant. So whenever you make a purchase, you share a special security number that keeps generating different numbers every time you make a purchase. So your credit card number, your CVV, your expiration date does not get shared with the merchant. However, if you go to a merchant that does not have support for Apple Card, then a 16 digit number will be shared with them in order to make a purchase. Now in all this, remember, privacy is the main concern. So you will not be sharing your purchases with the merchant for them in order to tag you in advertisements. Apple Card has been backed by Goldman Sachs and MasterCard. So wherever MasterCard is available, it will definitely accept Apple Card. This is very good because mobile payments haven't been taken up quite as expansively as Apple would have liked it to. Whenever you make a purchase, say you go to Target or to McDonald's and you use your Apple Card, you will get a 2% cashback. But if you make a purchase 
from Apple itself, say you buy an iPad or a Mac, then you will get 3% cash back. And for places that do not offer you to pay with your Apple Pay, you can use Apple Titanium Card to pay for the purchases and you get 1% cash back. Apple India event stated that there are no extra fees, no extra costs, there are no late payments. This is a big leap forward because as you all know, if you overshoot your payment due date for your credit card, you will be taxed a lot of money. Your interest rates will increase. As far as we know, Apple has stated that there will not be any of these for their service. For those of y'all that spent on credit cards a lot, there is a wheel system in the Apple Wallet app. This will show you how much of basic payments you need to pay in order to fulfill the totality of your sum payment that you have to submit at the end of the credit card period. Now, Apple can show you if you make a small amount of purchase, say you pay $50 over the course of two, three days, how will that stack up if you pay $100, if you can manage it? So Apple tells you how you can manage your money effectively. This is a really great feature. Apple Card will be available in the summer season. Now, moving on to Apple Arcade. Many of us love to game and Apple has been a great platform to introduce mobile gaming. It was one of the first platforms to have one of the best gaming experiences. Games like Fortnite, PUBG, Super Mario have all been introduced on the Apple platform first. This is because Apple has great hardware to play great games. Unlike cloud gaming services that were announced last week at Google's event, Apple is taking a different approach. They will have a service that is going to be a subscription-based model that will offer you a wide range of games. This is so that you can pay one shot to access a huge variety of games so that the publisher and you can also benefit from these games. So Apple Arcade will be available under the App Store in a separate tab. Apple has not disclosed the amount of payment for this kind of service, but that is yet to be seen. Now moving on to Apple TV. Apple TV was a tried product by Apple as a hobby. Now Apple under Tim Cook has pushed this product to get it into the mainstream of products. Apple will be releasing an update to the Apple TV that will include focus channels like HBO, CBS, PBS, and many more. Subscribers can choose which channels they like instead of paying for an entire package unlike the traditional services that you have. So you will not be forced to choose any channels or to watch any channels that you do not want. The pricing of this was not shared. However, Apple will be releasing this in the coming months and it will not be only for Apple TV. This feature and this service will be available for anyone who has a smart TV. So that includes Roku TV, Fire TV, Samsung Smart TVs, and many more. The support for these services will expand to over 100 countries, but the timeline has not been released by Apple. Now, one of the last things they said was Apple TV Plus. Apple TV Plus is a brand new service started by Apple. Apple did not announce any other details of Apple TV Plus other than the name of the service, but it did a lot to bring many famous personalities on stage to showcase what content they will be offering on the Apple TV Plus platform. Some of their names include Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Steven Spielberg, Jason Momoa, Steve Carell, Alfred Woodward, Sesame Street's Big Bird. Famous people also are brought on stage like Sarah Bareilles, the famous singer of the Brave Song, and she played a wonderful piece on the piano. Apple TV will have a lot of original programming that will include shows like Immigrants in America, science fiction about where inhabitants are blind, 
children's programming featuring Sesame Street and highlighting workplace harassment as well as mental health. So this kind of service is a direct competition to Netflix platform and Hulu as well. Apple has done a lot in this event. They have showcased a wide range of services and enhancements to them. If you have any questions and queries regarding this event, you know where to contact me. You can also suggest any content that I should make by contacting me via my social platforms. Thank you for watching and have a great time.